Sal, thank you for coming today. Why don't you tell Reality Crowd TV a little bit about what you do and what you're all about? Uh, so my name's Sal. Um, about a year ago, a little more than a year ago, I started a website called CrowdCrux.com. And essentially it helps creators uh, raise money through Kickstarter and Indiegogo. And uh, you know, eight months ago or so, I also created a website called Crowdfunding PR. Um, I help creators get the word out about their crowdfunding campaigns and um, a few other sites, kickstarterforum.org. Um, a site where creators can really interact and talk about what it's like to raise money on Kickstarter. So um, over the past year, I've dealt with over 3,000 creators um, through my blog, through my newsletter, and uh, through those different sites. Yeah. Great, awesome. So what really excites you about the crowdfunding movement? I think it's really the first time in history where someone who has an idea and has the technical ability to execute it doesn't have to go through one of the larger um, you know, institutional organizations to see it become a reality. You know, um, if you look back um, when Apple first started, um, Steve Wozniak creating the first Apple II, you know, that's really a good example of someone who's really passionate about a project and nowadays could raise money for that from the crowd. Whereas in the past, you need to court angel investors, you need to court venture capitalists, and uh, yeah, so it's, it's incredible. So how about equity crowdfunding? How do you foresee that changing the financial marketplace? So equity crowdfunding, it's, it's very interesting. Um, Rewards-based crowdfunding, the primary motivations as to why someone would want to back a campaign, one, they really enjoy and love the product and they just want a copy of it. Two, they really connect with the, the passion and the story of the entrepreneur, or the creator, and they want to support them. And three, they're part of a community already that exists and they just want to be a part of a movement like 3D printing. Um, equity crowdfunding, the motivations are a little bit more murky as to what they will be. Um, obviously, more financially motivated, um, but it, it's really hard to say now because the rules have not been pinned down, um, both for the platforms, for the entrepreneurs, and for the investors. But um, I foresee, um, on the good side, a lot of young entrepreneurs like me, maybe who come from tech backgrounds, being able to launch their, their startup and raise money from the crowd. Um, and on the flip side, I think there's a lot of potential for, um, you know, really education has to be a primary um, push. Um, a lot of these people that are going to be investing are going to be first-time startup investors, and they might not know what to look for, whether that's um, a team that works together well, patents, a proven concept. These are things that we need to educate to sort of avoid some of the pitfalls that might happen. Um, it's very similar to the start of the stock market, I think. That's very true. So that's actually Reality Crowd TV's mission, is to educate everyone that doesn't know about crowdfunding and try to help them. So it seems like you know a lot about crowdfunding. Would you be interested in being an expert on Reality Crowd TV? Uh, my, my primary motivation, like you guys, is always to, to educate and to showcase great creators and great entrepreneurs and try to help people that are just starting out learn from them. So any way that I can forward that mission, I'm happy to participate in. Awesome. Thank you.